Hello tacticians, it's Nox here and we're going to have a little look back at the survival mode which is about to come to an end. But before I go into that, I just want to say my usual thank yous and today they go into Wandering Ace, Autark, The Chosen One, Jern Henny and Player1098. All of you have used my friend code and it is very much appreciated as it really does help me out. So thank you once again. On to the survival mode. Now, I have managed to complete all the missions and managed to get Titus up to a maximum stat boost of plus 100%. However, my maximum score hasn't really increased that much from my initial attempt. I've probably been focusing on the wrong characters, but I have still had fun nonetheless. My position, which was quite high to begin with, I've been decimated down to around 900, so I'm going to have to really keep on my toes for the next time this appears. And how do we know it's going to come back? Well, it, there is a survey for you to fill out. And I would highly encourage you to fill this in because it will net you a lovely 300 Blackstone to do so, as well as give Snowprint your thoughts on how it has actually gone. One of the more interesting parts in here is the fact that they state they want to address as much of the feedback as they can before the next survival event begins. Will this be Titus again? Or maybe, just maybe, it'll be something else. And what do I mean by that? Well, unless you've been living in the Underhive, you'll know of the massive success with Space Marine 2. And also, currently in the works is a game called Mechanicus 2. So if you put 2 and 2 together, my betting is that the next survival game mode will be for the Necrons or the Adeptus Mechanicus, or maybe even both. Of course, I have no proof of this, but I think it's as good a guess as any. Now, if the new character is a Necron, I'm thinking it might be one of these guys who you see in the trailer for Mechanicus 2. He's a cryptic Technomancer, and I must admit, I've never played Necrons on the tabletop, haven't got a clue what he does, but my goodness, does he look amazing. So... If it's not him, then it would therefore be for the Adeptus Mechanicus. And whilst there has been a data mine about what the fifth Adeptus Mechanicus might be, for survival mode, I'm thinking it would need to be more of a named character. And the main character in the last Mechanicus game was actually a tech priest engine seer, which is one of these guys on the screen. Now, as to be honest, he would look very imposing and go very well with the ad mech indeed. But... As I said, this is pure speculation, and if I'm right, great, I'll be saying I was right and pointing to this video, but if I'm wrong, I'm more than happy to say that I was wrong and it was indeed another character. But back to the event itself. Overall, I think it was great. I think, however, we could have done with a few more attempts, as we were only getting one a day, and I did see even with all the content creator coverage, that people still weren't aware of some of the nuances of this game mode, such as advancing on to the next wave of enemies to get some bonus points. Then there were the waves themselves. I think mostly the scaling was good. However, I would also say as soon as you went into the diamond part of the mission, that scaling really ramped up very quickly indeed. And maybe there needed to be a longer increment with more waves of them getting more and more difficult rather than the hit in the brick wall that it felt. But that may just be me. I don't have many Diamond Space Marine characters. So I would like to hear, and indeed Snowprint wants to hear, how you felt that this went. Did you hit a brick wall before Diamond or were you like me and you got to Diamond and it really was that difficult? The actual waves they put in, I think they had a great mixture of enemies, from the close combat to the shooting to even the special characters as they came in with the final waves. Although I think the tooltips for the power-ups could be better worded so you knew exactly what you were getting before you sent someone to pick them up. The rewards that you got as you progressed through the missions and played the game and therefore progressed through the tiers of crates as you completed the mission, I think was fair. You were getting badges, which are always in short supply, coins, shards for Titus, and also equipment to help you level Titus up. Overall, I was very happy with this and I didn't 
feel like I've actually missed anything. And the leaderboard was great. However, what I would like this to show is if you clicked on someone, if it could actually show which tunes they began with at the beginning of their survival run, and maybe even showing which ones they brought in as it continued. This could give other people ideas, and so could increase the competitiveness at the higher ranks and help people who are struggling lower down the leaderboard. But of course, most of this was purely down to how powerful your space marines were, and they did give us quite a lot of warning, saying you would only need space marines. So I certainly hope for the second one, we'll get the similar amount of warning. If you like these videos, then it would be much appreciated if you at least think about using my friend code, as it really does help me out. Or if you or your guilds are looking for a new home, please reach out to any of the guilds shown, as we'll always welcome new people into our midst. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the battlefield.